So this is the Sony a6000 and in my opinion it is the best camera for fishing YouTubers for the money. So the camera itself actually isn't even in the box right now so we can get rid of that but I'm filming with it right now and if you've watched my other videos you've probably noticed that the quality of this video is almost a hundred times better than my other videos. Now the Sony a6000 is a mirrorless system and it shoots full HD1080p and has the ability to take 4K still images. But what really sets this camera apart is it's a great autofocus sensor. Now, before I start this review, I just want to say to you guys, you don't need these cameras, you don't need the microphones, you don't need the tripods. All you need is a camera, either that's a phone, a cheap GoPro. You just need anything to record yourself and just go out there and fish and have a good time. Now, if you are looking to increase the quality of your videos, then I feel like this is the best way to go. Now, I could go on and on about the specs of this camera, but you can find most of that on the side of the box, so I'm going to focus on more about how this can benefit you as a fishing YouTuber. Now, when it comes to actually filming your fishing videos, this little guy right here, a GoPro, is going to be your best friend. But when it comes to getting other shots, maybe like vlogs or B-roll, the Sony a6000 is a perfect fit. So this is my setup for the Sony a6000. Now, these accessories are in no way needed, but I went ahead and got them because they can help increase the quality of your videos. So this camera retails for around $600, $650. Right now it's probably still on sale from the holidays and you can get it for a little less, around $500. And I'll drop a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But basically for this review, I'm going to be going over a couple subjects instead of just going over the easy details that you can find on the side of the box. So the first thing I want to go over is the overall pros and cons of the camera that I've noticed in the first couple days of using it. So the first pro I'm going to go over is the great video quality you can shoot. Now, the Sony a6000 has probably one of the best autofocus sensors out there for mirrorless system cameras. And that's really important when you're trying to get a shot of maybe a fish or something of that nature and you really want to get that shot in the focus as fast as you can. So the second pro I'm going to go over is the size of the camera. So unlike giant, big, clunky DSLRs, the Sony a6000, with it being a mirrorless system, allows for this camera to be a lot smaller, a lot lighter, and that's just going to help you carry it better, it's going to be easier to vlog with, it's going to be smaller, it's going to be easier to travel with, and that smaller size and smaller weight is just overall going to make your life a whole lot easier. So the third pro I want to go over is the camera's ability to shoot an XAVCS codec. Now if you're familiar with XAVCS codec, you'll know that that's usually the codec format that is shot for 4K videos. Now that's just going to allow a higher quality video to be stored on your SD card with giving up some space. So a fourth pro I want to go over is the camera's internal microphone. Now most DSLRs, most mirrorless systems, they don't have very good internal microphones and you're pretty much screwed if you don't have an external microphone. Now right now I am recording with an external microphone, the Sony ECM GZ1M, something around that. And I only got that because it was on sale, but you really don't need that because the internal microphone quality is pretty good. But that does lead into my first con, which is it runs on a hot shoe multi-interface mount, which doesn't allow you to use like a Rode video mic or any other form of external microphone. You have to use a multi-interface hot shoe microphone only. So in the past couple days of using this camera, I have not found that many cons with it, other than the fact that it runs on multi-interface shoe mount and doesn't have a microphone jack. But that problem can be easily fixed with purchasing a Sony external microphone that does run on multi-interface. So another topic I kind of want to go over is the fact that it is basically a DSLR. So one of the kind of big selling points to this camera is the fact that it has interchangeable lenses the same way a DSLR would. Now it runs on the Sony E-mount system which allows you to put other kind of lenses that also are made from Sony, but you can get an E-mount adapter and use Nikon lenses, Canon lenses, pretty much anything can be put on this camera. And just like a DSLR, this camera has tons of settings to adjust shutter speed, aperture, ISO, and all that stuff. Right now I'm shooting in 1080p 60 frames, so you do have the option of slow motion if you want to film in that. And kind of the last thing I want to touch on about this camera is its usability. So here I am with the handheld tripod walking around vlogging like I would in any other YouTube video. And the camera's not heavy at all, my arm's not getting tired, and the video is probably very smooth because it's using that auto stabilization. And I'm about two and a half feet away from 
the microphone, so I'm guessing the audio is really good too. So the battery life for this camera is not the best. You can get about 90 minutes per battery of video recording, but you can always buy extra batteries for not too much and just bring those with you. All right guys, that is gonna be about it. I'm not gonna go too much in depth. This is a fishing channel, not a tech review channel. But overall, I think if you really wanna increase the quality of your fishing videos, the Sony A6000 is the way to go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like and comment what videos you wanna see more of. And other than that, I'll see you next episode.